Football is a game of ups and downs. Every top player has his highs and his lows, but what makes a player truly great is his ability to pick himself up when he's down and make a smashing comeback. And right now we want to look at 10 of such footballers who are currently making a comeback. Number 1. Rashford Rashford used to be one of United's most outstanding players, but 2021 and 2022 didn't smile on him so much. There was the missed penalty in the final of the Euros with England, which really affected his confidence, the missed chances in the Europa League final with United, and a couple other bad performances here and there. United fans were already getting fed up with him and the truth is that if the World Cup had happened in the summer of last year, Rashford would very likely not have gone with England. But the 25-year-old kept his head down and continued working on himself under his new United boss and slowly he began to get his mojo back. A goal against Liverpool, an assist against Leicester, two goals and an assist against Arsenal this season and before we knew it, he's Premier League Player of the Month for September and a must-pick for Southgate for England's World Cup squad. And at the World Cup, he further established himself as the main guy once again with his three goals for the three Lions. He ended the tournament as England's top scorer and is right now Man United's top scorer. Rashford is truly making a comeback and he looks like he's aiming to become better than he ever was before. Number 2. Gabriel Jesus The move to Arsenal has really worked wonders for Jesus. At City, he was far from being a first-team player despite being the only striker in the squad last season. And oh, we just have to say, he did miss a lot of chances while he was there. But at Arsenal, he seems to be a little more clinical and obviously a lot more important. When he's fit, he starts with no doubt and he makes the entire team a lot better. 11 goal contributions in just 14 Premier League appearances so far this season is a pretty significant improvement from his 17 in 28 last season and 13 in 29 the season before. Number 3. Bruno Fernandes Bruno's career since he joined United is the typical representation of ups and downs. He hit the ground running when he joined and immediately became United's lord and saviour. But then came Ronaldo and Bruno's form just disappeared into thin air. The guy went from 15 goal contributions in 14 appearances in his first half season and 29 in 37 in his first full season to 16 in 36 the season Ronaldo arrived. This season has been even worse with the otherwise prolific midfielder getting only 4 goal contributions in 15 appearances this season. But then you can sense a comeback for Bruno right now and you could tell from the World Cup. He was Portugal's best player by a mile and actually one of the best midfielders at the whole tournament with his 5 goal contributions in 4 games. You can see Bruno bringing that form back to club football with him back to being the main man at Man United. So yeah, this comeback is on. Soon we'll be talking a great deal about Bruno. Number 4. Xhaka You look at how Xhaka has been playing so far this season and you just have to say that Arteta is doing a great job with that Arsenal team. Xhaka who cursed at the Arsenal fans, got suspended, got stripped of the captaincy, all of that stuff is now one of the most important players at the club. The Swiss hard man who was hardly ever among the goals at Arsenal with 3 goal contributions in 27 Premier League appearances last season and 3 in 31 the season before, now has 7 in 16 so far this season. The comeback is really on for Xhaka and we all love to see it. Number 5. Martial Anthony Martial looks like he might be going back to those vintage ice-cold performances. He peaked in the 2019-20 season with 24 goal contributions in 32 league appearances, but after that season it all went downhill. 10 in 22 and 2 in 17 in the 2021 and 21-22 seasons respectively. Pretty poor. It looked like United had moved on from the Frenchman, but Martial looks like he's preparing a huge comeback under Ten Hag. He already has 5 goal contributions in 7 appearances this season. If he can just manage to stay fit, then we have a full-on comeback on our hands. Number 6. Griezmann His move to Barca was a truly dark time in Griezmann's career. He hit the lowest of lows and it was just like that wasn't the same Griezmann we used to watch at Atletico. Luckily for him, he managed to get a return to Atletico and he finally looks like his old self again. The guy has quickly gone from 8 goal contributions to 29 La Liga appearances last season to 11 in 15 so far this season. But the major indication that Griezmann has redefined himself is the performances he put up at the World Cup. He was easily top 2 best players for France and arguably the best midfield player in the entire tournament. 
the lad just needed to reunite with Diego Simeone to get his mojo back. Number 7. Kepa What a comeback this guy is having. He really went from being labelled one of the worst investments in Premier League history to being the keeper with the best save percentage in the English top flight this season. His percentage is currently in the 80s and seems to be getting better by the day. He's surely taken back his number one spot from Mendy and oh, he also just recently proposed to his girlfriend. Everything just seems to be going perfectly for the young Spaniard right now. Number 8. Neymar Neymar is always that guy but the truth is, the last really top season he had for PSG was the 2019-20 season when he inspired them to league success and their first ever Champions League final. Since then, it has just been tales of him ghosting in the big games and failing to live up to expectation. Well, that is until this season. Neymar is truly a different beast this season and is definitely one of the top 5 players in Europe right now. The guy has 28 goal contributions in only 21 appearances so far for PSG alone. That number is better than Mbappe's 25 and Messi's 26 for PSG this season. With Neymar in this kind of form, PSG could really go on to do it all this season. Number 9. Messi Like we just mentioned, Messi has 26 goal contributions in 19 appearances for PSG this season and that's not including his 10 goal contributions in 7 appearances at the World Cup for Argentina. Now to be fair, these actually sound like normal Messi numbers but when you remember that the GOAT scored just 6 goals in 26 appearances in Ligue 1 last season and didn't even make the 30-man Ballon d'Or shortlist last year, you'll then recognise how much of a comeback this really is. To come from having that season to doing these numbers in the league and then winning your first ever World Cup, an insane comeback for real. This man is really about to go from not making the 30 Ballon d'Or shortlist in 2022 to winning a record-extending 8th award in 2023. Now, who could beat that? Number 10. Almiron Miguel Almiron has looked like a totally new signing for Newcastle since the beginning of the season. When he was at Atlanta United in the MLS, he was really tearing the place up. 17 goal contributions in 30 appearances in 2017 and then 25 in 32 in 2018. He really was that guy. Newcastle saw that and signed him in 2019, but he moved to England and he began to struggle. 6 in 36 in the 1920 season, 5 in 34 in 2021, and just 1 in 30 Premier League appearances throughout last season. But it seemed like the moment Grealish made that statement about him, Almiron became a totally different guy. He currently has 10 goal contributions in 17 Premier League appearances this season, and he doesn't look like he's slowing down at all. At this rate, Almiron might actually better his 2018 season, which is currently his best season as a footballer. What a comeback! But of all these guys, who would you say is having the best comeback in world football right now? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.